about to do the longest hike we've ever done in our lives. You guys ready for this? Yeah, uh, I think so. Maybe. <laughs> this hike is over 15 miles and the peak is over 12,000 feet high. Guys, that's twice as high as the mountain Mr. Beast climbed. We will be over 6,000 feet in the air. Oh yeah, you guys up for that? Um, um, yeah. yeah. It's early in the morning, but this hike's gonna take all day and I don't wanna be walking back in the dark, so let's go. I am a little bit nervous because I had a long film shoot yesterday when I was Spider-Man doing parkour and my legs are super sore. It's not gonna be easy. Not you, but I'm gonna make it. My legs already hurt. What? Already? We walked like 200 feet. I feel great, guys. I'm a little nervous. It is a long hike. I did it when I was 15, and it was something that I told myself I would never do again because it was so hard. So it's taken me almost 30 years to do it again. Brighton, Ashton, Paxton, and Peyton have been wanting to do this for a long time. Kaysen, he's just too small. We didn't let him come on this hike. He wouldn't have been able to make it. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it. We're going to do our best and try to stay safe. Dozens of people have died on this trail from heat exertion, running out of food, heart attack. It's strenuous, like people just weren't prepared for how challenging of a hike it is. And not only that, there are bears, moose, mountain lions, all sorts of stuff. So, what's going on, Peyton? I don't know. My dad said I was walking so slow. My legs are so tiny. Maybe I have to take big steps. Guys, we've been walking for three hours. We should be there by now. What? We've been walking for 10 minutes. Come on, Ashton, get up. This is a steep climb. At this rate, I don't think we're gonna make it. We're gonna keep doing our best. Hopefully we make it. The view up there is spectacular. And if we do make it, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> the altitude is so high. It's over a mile in increased elevation. So it's like going straight up a full mile. Guys, it's really weird because we just got to this point and the trail just split. One goes that way and one goes that way. But there's no sign, the sign telling which way. It's a dead end. Okay, well it must be that way then. Let's go. All right, we're waiting right now for Peyton and Mom. They've been lagging behind a little bit, and I'm a little worried. There's actually a lot of bears and mountain lions on this mountain, so I hope they're okay. Our girls are alive! I was just waiting for Peyton. The whole time she was like, I'm sorry, I'm making you wait for me. <laughs> We've made two miles. Five and a half to go. We got it up, guys. What was that? <laughs> All right, Peyton, you go pop a squat behind a bush and we'll keep going. How the heck is Paxton wearing a hoodie and sweatpants? It's a hundred degrees. Dude, I don't know. Paxton's built different, I guess. You guys sitting down on the job. We gotta keep moving. We're not almost halfway, dude. Are there? Nope. Past halfway? Nope. <laughs> Where are we? We're not halfway yet. I stay back again, make sure the kids are okay. Yes, you guys might be wondering why I'm last. Not the slowest. I just care the most. Yeah, right. I think you get to lead for a while. See if you can hold it. Guys, check out what I just found. Dad's shedding. You know what that is? That is not for me. <laughs> you think my hair is that color? This is mountain goat fur. It might be grandpa. There are mountain goats around here somewhere. We're gonna find them. I totally here, wanna find keep them. Keep that. <laughs> we are just about to the halfway point. And from what I hear, the last two miles is by far the hardest. Oh my. How are you doing, Peyton? Tired. We've been hiking for about three and a half hours. I'm starting to get pretty exhausted. I have gymnastics tomorrow at six in the morning. You're gonna do gymnastics tomorrow at 6 a.m.? Wow. There were hundreds of goats on the trail that wouldn't let them pass. You guys hear that? Somebody else had to turn around because there were hundreds of goats on the trail. They said it's pretty close to the top, so they should be gone by the time we get there, but it would be so cool to see them. Let's hear your best goat sound. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna stop here and have lunch. What do you got, Peyton? Oh, macadamia cliff bar, yum. Lunch is almost done. Okay, go. I did not pee. <laughs> My bag must have leaved. <laughs> so you didn't. I'm so glad we're finally having lunch, so I don't have to carry it anymore. Go, Mama. You carried our food for us. Thank you. And now we'll eat it for you. <laughs> Thank hey, Mom. You. I don't want to eat this. There's gross stuff in my food. That is your food. Look. Dude, it's just lettuce, Paxton. <laughs> What's the problem? Eat it. Paxton's the picky one, guys. I thought he'd be hungry enough he would try it, but I was wrong. I think it's good. Lunch is over. Let's move. Guys, there's deer. I think there's a baby one. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. I made it, yeah. I did it. I did it. I did it. Don't do that in real life. It was just a visual effect. I would never do that. I do not want to die. Berries and flowers. Hey, Mom, can I eat one? Uh, no. Why 
don't because I don't know what they are. They look good. Guys, look at this. Like it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. So pretty. Not gonna lie, guys. I'm struggling. We're almost there. We're not almost there. The hardest part's yet to come. We've come a long way, but we still have to get all the way up there. I'm gonna take a break. I think we're about three quarters of the way to the top. Air is so thin up here. We're over 10,000 feet in elevation right now. It's a gorgeous view though. I do not remember this steep part. Yeah, we literally have to climb. This better be the hard part because it just got hard. This normally wouldn't be that hard, but my legs are so tired. Tell me about it. My legs are, dude, tomorrow they're gonna be on fire. I probably can't go upstairs tomorrow. We just passed some awesome people and we we're wondering how far from the top are we? About a mile and a half. Mile and a half? All right. Have you ever done this hike before? I tried when I was 16, 60 years ago. 60 years ago, 60 wow. 60 years ago and I just made it to the meadow and I gave up but my two sons convinced me dad you can do it and i did you did it we went all the way to the top that's awesome well we got this then right peyton yeah we can right. do it we got this thank you okay he definitely likes to tell people how old he is he stopped at ashton a 76 year old can do it you can so like he's very proud of himself well i think he deserves to be proud of himself aren't you going to be proud of yourself of course if yeah. you make it what do you mean it? Whew, i feel like we're getting close but that does not look close to me we have to walk all the way up that ridge line this is gonna take a while. All right, we just got to a spot where there's five different ways we could go. We go that way? Probably not that way, because that's kind of where we came from. There's that way. Which is and, also where we came from. But like a different direction. Could be that way, I don't know. I'm probably thinking that way. Yeah, because the peak think? is in that direction. Yeah, let's go that way. There's a tent down there. Somebody's camping out here. We are officially to the hard part. At least I hope it's the hard part. I was younger than Brighton when I did the hike. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. So I thought I would raise my friends and be the first to the top. And I was, but I also paid a price. But that didn't stop me from racing them to the bottom. And then I paid another price. We only have a mile left. We're at six and a half miles? Yeah. One more mile! Yay! We're gonna make it! Guys, there's like no birds up here because it's too high. We do see one bird way out there. It's actually lower than our current elevation. This view is spectacular, but it's nothing compared to what we're gonna see at the top. It's starting to get dangerous, guys. Watch your step. This is actually pretty freaky. You don't wanna lose your balance up here. I can actually see how a lot of people have died. I'm not gonna walk while I vlog because I don't wanna take a wrong step, but it is a gorgeous view. On one side, we've got cliff steeps. I can't even talk right, there's not enough oxygen up here. Steep cliffs going straight out. On the other side, we've got steep cliffs going down. Gotta watch your step here. Kids are up ahead. They made it to the ridge line. I believe that's called the saddle. How's the view up here, guys? It is incredible. It's insane. You have to see it. There is my AirPod. It's hanging on the edge of a cliff. Don't do it. Don't do it. I forgot it was even in my ear. I'm gonna get it. First, I'm gonna take out my other AirPod so it doesn't also. <laughs> We're both gonna get falling down. No. Ah, stop! Hey, chill. I'm a mountain goat. <laughs> I got it. I got it. No problem. I got it. Yeah. Now you guys know why we didn't bring Casey with us and our puppy. This hike is no joke. All right, look, we just saw the first mountain goats. There's three of them. It actually looks kind of scary walking up that way. But if the mountain goats, we can do it, right? <laughs> I'm not a mountain goat. Are they dangerous? Can we go close to them? You definitely want to respect wildlife, so we don't want to touch them or get too close. I don't know if we go this way or this way. Um, well, then you're dumb. Just kidding, oh. sorry. But it's this way, obviously. This side's a cliff. <laughs> here they come, here they come. Sit down and be on my There's three more right here. Scared. It's crazy. They're definitely looking at us. They're not right on the trail, but they're probably 10 feet off the trail. I'm scared. I don't want to go first. You don't want to go first? Uh -uh. Yeah, they've got those big horns that they can ram with. I'll go first. These animals live at the highest altitude of anywhere around. This is as high as we went skydiving. When we went skydiving, they were using oxygen when they were in the airplane before jumping out. The goats don't appear to be bothered by us. They see people all the time. We're just going to walk right past them and respect their space. Look at the muscles on that guy. Hey, 
Do you guys see the way? They're not sure if there's a trail up here. I think we're lost, and we haven't seen another person for like a long time. Hey guys, just chill for a minute. There's not a lot of oxygen up here. We gotta regain our energy. This pile of rocks to me means somebody stacked this to say it's this way. This may not look like a trail, but it's the best we've got. This part's intense. We have to climb up these loose rocks. Our mom is freaking out. She's like crying like, oh, we're they're gonna fall off the cliff. My kids that I'm responsible for are all like, on loose rocks on a cliff. We're gonna have Ali go ahead and lead. I'm gonna stay back and be the caboose. Make sure nobody falls behind. Please don't kick rocks down on me. Guys, this is beautiful and I'm having a ton of fun, but you know what? It's calculated risk because one wrong step and life changes forever. So it's really important to stay safe, make sure everybody has a plan and we're doing our best to keep the plan. We thought we were there right over this bend and as soon as we get over this bend, we discovered the truth. We still have way up there. This is one of those things that if you knew how hard it was, when you start, you probably wouldn't do it. I'm gonna put my camera away because I don't feel safe going over some of this terrain, so I'll see you guys shortly. All right, I found another pile of rocks, so that means we went the right way. Let's keep going. We've lost the trail. Ali followed it up that way and now can't find it, so we think maybe this was a dead end and we're gonna head back down the trail a little ways to see if we can find where we lost it. At this point, just operating her willpower. We're so close. We're gonna go up there and chill for a little bit, eat a snack, and come back down, because then we'll be halfway done. Might need a helicopter. I see the top. He's right over that ridge. We're so close, but it feels like we're never gonna get there. For a shack and a freaking amazing view. Oh my! Look at the view! And now we're gonna see just how tiny the world really is. feel bad for whoever built this. All right, we're headed in. Whoa, there's so many names of people who have done it. Someone left nuts for us. We brought our own snacks, but that's awesome. Someone left a snack for someone else. Guys, there's a mountain goat right there. We're like, this is the hardest hike we've ever done in our life. The mountain goat is like, get out of my way, please. Yay, is it time for lunch? Oh, yes. It's time to eat, but all I've got is peanut butter and jelly, and I would love a hot meal. So how about we order a pizza? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It worked for Mr. Beast. It's gonna work for us. Our mountain is twice as high as Mr. Beast, but I still think it's gonna work. Usually we tip 10%, but I think that we should maybe go higher. If it's not here in 30 minutes, it's free. It took us six and a half hours to get here, so. <laughs> All right, guys, we're calling Pizza Hut right now. Hi, this is Jenny from Pizza Hut. How can I help you? We would just like to order a pepperoni pizza for delivery. Do you, do you guys deliver at the hut on top of To enter the whole address? You do? I just have to give them an address. What's the address? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I think our service isn't good enough. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day. I don't think they're gonna deliver up here. It was worth a shot. We don't want to pester them. Said she needed an address. The hut on the top of the mountain. That's all we know. Congrats to Mr. Beast for getting that pizza, but it didn't work for us. I was really looking forward to that. This is the best peanut butter jam and honey sandwich I have ever tasted. So I think this is turning into a 24 hour at the top of the mountain. Mountain video. <laughs> that wasn't our intention, but I ain't going anywhere. Not on these feet, anyway. There's that guy's tent we can go down to. What? We just climb in his tent. <laughs> Hello! Hey. I have a ladybug on my arm. That's good luck. That means we're gonna make it. We're gonna survive. I don't know if we're gonna get off this mountain, but <laughs> we're gonna survive for another hour or two. The nice thing about being to the top is that we get to see this epic view as we hide in this little hut. <laughs> and the other nice thing is that we are now halfway. <laughs> No! The ladybug's gone. I can't find it. Oh, your face! <laughs> There's people coming. We're not the last people up for the day. We're gonna hide right. and surprise them when they walk over here. Everybody say surprise. <laughs> Pizza guy? <laughs> You've been waiting for six hours. <laughs> we got here at the sun. We got here at the sun. 
guys. Bye, bye. And putting the sticker on. Ninjas, we're here. Ninjas are here. I'm just. We are here. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been joking on my eyes for like five minutes straight. You're stepping on my head. You're on my straw. <laughs> right since water's leaking everywhere. <laughs> I think we've been at the top too long. Oxygen deprivation is causing these teenagers to get dumber than teenagers normally are. It says I like bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to get off this mountain. It is. It's almost six o'clock. That means we're not gonna get down until probably around midnight. What? No! We gotta get going. Hey, okay. Ninja Daddy's foot's hurting real bad. What are you gonna do? I'm used to foot shaped shoes, and these are pointy at the top. They don't have room for my pinky toe to spread, and it's giving me like a bunion or something like that. It hurts so bad right here. So I figure I a little hole right here, and my pinky toe can stick out of it, and it should be good, right? This is not a good idea. Where's the spot? Right about there. Don't do this, Dad. These are like new shoes, too. I did not want to do this, but honestly, barefoot will not really be an option either. I mean, unless we get some bare feet. <laughs> Jeez. Ah! <laughs> I went too far. Dad! Too far. What have you done? I don't know if that's gonna work. Ah! It's, just, it's not quite good enough. Should I keep cutting? Don't uh, put your foot in it. What are you doing? Ow! Are you kidding me? No. Hey, I told you. That was a dumb idea. Slit going right there. Oh. <laughs> that is so much better. Okay. <sighs> it wasn't working with my sock on, so I had to take it off. <laughs> I feel bad, but I can't help but laugh. Never go on a big hike without proven shoes. And <laughs> Dad, don't stop your big pizza. That'll hurt really bad. We can keep the team together. Guys, check out all those mountain goats. So Shop Ninja Kids Soft Store! There's three more down there. Four. You okay? <laughs> you alright? Ninja They're all coming up from Emerald Lake to graze on these hills. They drink out of the lake, they eat the flowers, and every once in a while a cougar or bear comes by and eats them. It's a circle of life. It's the circle of life. I'm struggling to walk down. He is running. There's the tent of the guy that we saw up there. I'm real tempted to go sleep in that tent. Hello! You still got room? Room for seven more? Yeah, we're six. Six more? Oh yeah, Kason's not here. Kason would not have liked that hike. <laughs> he would have been so angry. <laughs> Actually though, he would have been like mad. I would have never been able to talk him into hiking again. <laughs> so right now he's at his friend's house and he had a sleepover. Guys, for those of you who make it to the end of the video, we have a super epic surprise. Keep watching. It really is that last little ways to climb all the way up there and across. That's hard. Guys, that um, sculpture looks like a dress. Whoa! Sculpture? The uh, ice thing? The ice. It does look like a dress. That's Dad. Oh, he just peed then. Oh. We got down here so quick, but when I was here looking at it, I almost cried. That looks so far. Hi, honey. We gotta hurry. It's getting dark, sweetheart. What time is it? 
Like nine o'clock? I don't know. <laughs> Only eight o'clock, I think. I'll wake up at nine. Oh dear. It's gonna be real dark on our climb down. Boys went ahead, but Allie and Peyton are behind, so I'm gonna hide behind this tree and see if I can scare them. Oh. Ah! Oh. That's where we were a couple hours ago. That is insane. We have gone so far. It is so beautiful. We've head down a couple miles already. It is so much faster going down. Look how high we are up and look how beautiful it is. This place is beautiful. Guys, it's getting dark really fast. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to hike in the, like, when it's pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> That was so scary. We have like four miles to go. Yeah. I don't know if my joints are going to hold up to this. How are you doing, Kay? My ankles really hurt because I've rolled them like 10 times. That's actually well, true. Well, we're past the rocks for the most part, so that's good. She's afraid of mountain lions. That's her biggest fear at this point. Just save Ninja Daddy. You'll be okay. Well, I'll take out a mountain lion. Comes near my girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. Cats like to attack from behind. They stalk their prey. So that's why I'm walking in the back. So if there's gonna be one attack, it's gonna be against me. I'd rather it ate me than anyone else. It's just gonna push you out of the way to eat me because I'll be easier. It's gonna be like, I wanna get this little chicken nugget. <laughs> it's getting so dark, we're gonna have to pull out our flashlights. It's even darker than it looks like to you guys because these new phones have such good night vision. This is the spot where Peyton jumped across. So we're not that far. Are you taking Peyton to the gym in the morning? Of course, like that's why I'm trying to hurry home so she can get to bed. I'm not going. What? I refuse. You can't miss two days in a row. I refuse to get in the car. I hate. You to that's that's what me. I told I her, of like course. I Tim without any caffeine. Nice. I don't think I'm gonna work out ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know why couch potatoes stay couch potatoes. I, I want to be couch potatoes. So bad. <laughs> We've earned being couch potatoes. How's your feet, bad? How cold is your toe? My my toe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you stumped down any rocks? No. That's good. It still hurts though. Is she tickling it? <laughs> the last mile, really. Like, just around the corner. Just around the corner. <laughs> yeah, we're not just around the corner. Let's go. <laughs> Last hike ever. I thought downhill was gonna be easy. <laughs> it's so long. It. It's hard. We're all just gonna wake up still in pain, but realize that it was all just a dream. And it's we're at, at the, the top, top still. <laughs> I would be so mad. It's nine o'clock. We have 3.7 miles to go. I am so mad. I think we can do it in an hour and a half. If you stick around with us till the end, you are freaking epic. Guys, we had to stop. Hallie twisted her ankle pretty bad. How are you feeling? Great. What is that noise? You see something right there. It's a moose or a bear. Where? We saw the dude. Right there, right? Is it staring no, at us? I heard it. It's a moose or a bear. No, no. Okay. Hallie says she just heard a moose or a bear. Hallie? You're not supposed to be quiet if it's a bear. You're supposed to make noise and scare it away. What if it's a moose? Uh, probably the same thing. Moose don't usually charge people unless you get too close to them. I am 100% sure. I think Ninja Mommy is having hallucinations like Peyton I am not. Well, let's keep walking and just stay close. Watch your step, honey. This is one of the hardest things I've done in my life. Kids are doing great. They're hanging in there. Peyton's having like visions or vertigo or something like that. She says the rock and the ground and everything's moving. Ellie's ankle is pretty jacked up. Brighton and Paxton, they're probably doing the best. Paxton may not be the fastest or the strongest, but that kid's got endurance, man. He can just go and go and go. Getting left behind, I better get moving. And you are the first one up the mountain. Congratulations. I have not much to be congratulated on. I've done about 10 of these night climbs. You're a beast. A 60 year old man is making me look bad because I'm really struggling with this height. Okay, now I'm feeling really stupid because we could have asked that guy how close we are to the bottom. We might not want to know though. So I was feeling really awesome and really good until we hit the halfway mark that we thought we already passed. Those extra two miles did me in. My ankles hurt so bad. How far, Ashton? I estimate another two to three thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. Brighton, Paxton, and Peyton are either probably at the bottom or eaten by a bear or a mountain lion. 29 years ago, I told myself I'd never do this again. I'm just not built like this. I'm a racehorse. This is a pack mule job. If you guys make it to the end of this video, you are freaking superstars. 
rides in Paxton and Payton are okay. They quite a ways up the trail, but they decided to wait. They thought they were close to the car and they're not. I don't even know why we're still walking. No, I'm so mad. Oh. I'm running. Bye. No, don't run, don't get hurt. parking lot's got to be right just down here. Yes, I can freaking smell our car. Guys, I really didn't know if we were going to make it or have to call Life Flight or something <laughs> like that. I was hallucinating so for hard. the past like two hours. I yeah, am never really doing hard. this again. I thought going down would be easy, but it just never ended. <laughs> it took us over 12 hours. You got to make sure that you train for these kinds of things. You prepare well. Yeah. All of you guys were awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. And for all of you who stuck around to the end, we have a big surprise. First comment, the name of this mountain we just hiked gets a shout out in the next video. And we never said the name of the mountain, so you gotta do your own detective work and try to figure it out. I gotta get to the car. It's like a hundred feet away. I'm leaving. Thanks, Thanks for being awesome! awesome. See ya! The final stretch. Give me a piggyback ride. No! <laughs> took over 17 miles. Their signs are raw. It's freaking crazy. I've never walked over six. <laughs> 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 <laughs>